Okay, welcome to the first episode of Madsen Modified Motors. This is an unboxing of the Foxwell NT630 Plus. Um, I bought the NT630 Plus because my clock spring broke and I installed a new one and I messed up the steering angle sensor. And allegedly the Foxwell NT630 Plus will let me calibrate my own steering angle sensor. So should we see what we have here? Yeah. All right. I didn't know it was coming in a case. That's kind of handy. You see it says ABS and airbag reset tool with SAS, that's steering angle sensor calibration. That's encouraging. This sleeve, keep that in case it doesn't work and we need to return it. Ooh, yeah, some literature here. Yeah, come on, no one reads the instructions. User guide. What are we, wimps? Warranty. Oh, I might fill that out. And then a sales brochure for other Foxwell products. Hmm, the Android tablet scanner. That might have been fun. All right. Then the device itself. <clears throat> it looks like that. <gasps> looks like a calculator. Yeah. You should not store it below 20 degrees Celsius or above 70 degrees Celsius. That's important info. Um, a USB cable, could be handy. Don't know if I'll ever use that. And then a, um, what is that? A 30 pin connector and what I would have called a printer cable or SATA connection. Okay, well that's it. It doesn't turn on until we plug it into the car. So uh, let's go try it. Okay. So I read a little bit before this showed up. I have a basic idea of what I'm doing, but not really. Um, so I understand what's going on here. After replacing the clock spring, I'm messing up the steering angle sensor. I now have error codes. Take the lean over. I'll miss. VDC off and slip light on. And that happens when you mess up um, the vehicle dynamic control system, in this case, by messing up the steering angle sensor, I hope. All right. So, we plug into the diagnostic port, which is right there. And what happens? Oh, lights up. Hmm. Auto VIN, enter. Automatic VIN acquisition. Yep, do not want to manually input a VIN. Please wait. Yes, F3. Infinity, yes. Enter. I probably shouldn't eat while I make YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, that's me. It's a Pathfinder, it's an R51. Back when they were real SUVs, to 2008. Okay. Let's do a scan. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fault. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's see if it lets me look at that. <whistles> we'll have to edit this down. Yeah. No one wants to watch this. ECU information, read codes, clear codes, live data, active test. Um, read codes. Yep, steering angle sensor, steering angle circuit. That's kind of what I expected to see. Okay. So let's go back. 
I, no, no, right now I'm just kind of looking around because I don't know what all this means. You want me to pause it or? No, just wait. Oh, that just gives me some ECU information. Huh. Nah, I don't want to mess with that. Back, back. Special functions. Steering angle sensor adjustment. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Keep that the steering wheel is in neutral position when driving straight ahead and touch start. Uh, so there is no start. Wait, hold still. See, there's huh. options here. I guess F3, okay. Completed. F3, okay. Code cleared. Okay. So it actually it turned off the two lights. Past and ABS controls and past. Huh. Okay. Seems to be what I already did, though. Our car is Asian. What? It said she's the car and hit a bunch of different countries. Yeah, our car is Asian. Oh. <laughs> our car is very Asian. Okay, well, I think I'm done. Um, I also wondered though if this can just read regular OBD2 codes. It looks like it can. Yeah, that's good. Coach found that one. Hmm, what code? Okay, so it says it's an ABS and airbag light, but it also looks like um, it also looks like it would read other codes. if there were any. All right. Now, I don't have any more trouble lights. Yeah, get around there and point at the dash because they're up in that corner. Mm -hmm. That's it. Should we drive it and see what happens? Sure. Okay, buckle up. So, after I replaced the clock spring and screwed up the steering angle sensor, we went for a drive, and whenever I would turn, or even if I was going straight at certain speeds, the um, skid control, the anti-lock brake system, the traction control, it would all freak out and do crazy things. And then eventually the light came on and it turned off the traction control system. So what we're really doing right now is seeing if we fixed it or if we screwed up something more than we could fix. So far, so good. The car is not braking for itself. It's not acting like I'm sliding on ice when I'm not. people who had the uh, tennis court contractor out in front of their house. Okay, let's get this puppy up to 88 miles an hour. You can see some serious stuff.